So you're doing your research, you're planning your epic big move to Northern Virginia, and you're wondering, what do I not know about Northern Virginia? Well, in this week's video, this is gonna be the most honest Northern Virginia video you'll ever watch, because I'm gonna share with you six reasons why you may not wanna to move to Northern Virginia. If you wanna know what those reasons are, stay tuned. Boom! Hey everybody, it's David, your favorite realtor. It's another beautiful day right here in Northern Virginia. If it's your first time here on my channel, please smash that subscribe button because every single week I release videos all about moving to, living in, working, thriving, basically everything you need to know about living right here in Northern Virginia. Oh, so you're moving to Northern Virginia? So can we talk a little bit later? I'm actually in the middle of making a YouTube video right now. So because of all these videos I make about living in Northern Virginia, I get calls like this all the time from folks just like you who are moving to Northern Virginia. And I absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving to the area, you know, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. You can even schedule a live Zoom call with me one-on-one. -on -one. As you always know, I got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. Moving to Northern Virginia. So full disclaimer, I'm not making this video to try to talk you out of moving to Northern Virginia. It's one of the top places to live, not just in the country, in the entire world. The purpose of this video, I just wanna be brutally honest with you. Just like any place in the United States, there's gonna be cons. And I, don't, I just don't want you to think that everything's peachy and rosy here. So I'm just gonna share with you six reasons why you may not wanna live here. Now, I don't think any of these are gonna be deal breakers but they can be different for you and they can be different for me and different for someone else. And some of these may actually be pros for you. So let's dive in right now with the first reason why you may not want to move to Northern Virginia and that's gonna be cost of living. So the high cost of living is probably the number one reason why you wouldn't want to move here. And the biggest factor with the increased cost of living is gonna be the price of housing. And the medium sales price of a house here in Northern Virginia is gonna be $530,000. That is almost double the national average of $325,000. And guess what? That $530,000 sales price gets a lot more expensive. Obviously, the closer you get to DC, or if you want a single family home, those numbers can easily be six, seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars $900,000. Now, the good news is we're not the most expensive place in the nation. New York, San Francisco, LA, Hawaii, they're still gonna be considerably way more expensive than Northern Virginia. In fact, let me share with you what $530,000 gets you here in Northern Virginia. And I'm, I'm compared to like San Antonio, Texas per se. So I'm gonna pull up realtor.com and disclosure, I'm not the listing agent for either property. So let's look at the Northern Virginia property first. So this is a townhouse that's listed in Fairfax, Virginia for $529,000. It's actually under contract right now. It's gonna be about 15 miles outside of Washington, DC. And this is gonna be a four bedroom, three and a half bath, 2000 square foot townhouse built in 1985. You can see it's nothing fancy, not a lot of bells and whistles, but obviously you got prime time location being very close to Washington, DC. Now let's pull up a listing in San Antonio, Texas. And this property is listed at $520,000. And it's gonna be a four bedroom, four bath, 3,700 square feet. And this place is beautiful. So if you put this single family house right here in Northern Virginia, this literally would be anywhere from $850,000 on the low end, maybe up to over a million dollars. So you can see your dollar goes a lot shorter here in Northern Virginia compared to like the rest of the United States, at least the most of it. Now, the flip side, which is really good, if you're moving to Northern Virginia, it's probably actually a 99% chance you're moving here because of your career. And if you're moving here, you're probably getting a substantial pay increase, maybe 10, 20, 30, 40% higher than what you were getting in your previous location. And not to mention your Earning potential is gonna be a lot higher here in Northern Virginia. So that'll help offset the cost of living right here in Northern Virginia. Now for the second reason why you may not wanna to move to Northern Virginia, and that's gonna be our weather. We have extremely sporadic weather here in Northern Virginia. In fact, so many times I can remember, it's like 70, you know, 75 degrees one day, beautiful, sunny. And the next day it's rainy and in the 30s. Talk about a huge change in just 24 hours. We get extremely hot and humid summers. They're really muggy, you'll sweat a lot. And we get extremely cold winters. And kind of the worst part with the winter, we don't get a lot of snow here. 
probably average one to two snowfalls a year. So if you're moving here from, let's say, upstate New York and you absolutely love snow, you may not love the weather here. And the flip side is, let's say you're moving here from sunny South Florida and you hate the winters, well, guess what? You may not love the weather here. Now, the biggest pro with the weather though is we do get all four seasons. We get an awesome summer, beautiful fall, you know, not, not too chilly of a winter and an absolutely stunning spring. So if you love experiencing all four seasons, then guess what? This may be an absolute pro for you, the weather right here in Northern Virginia. Now, the third reason why you may not wanna to move to Northern Virginia is the fast paced lifestyle. Now, I remember I moved here to Northern Virginia, actually from Jacksonville, Florida, back in the year 2000. And I was just 18 years old, but you know, moving from the South up here, I noticed a big difference with the, the lifestyle. Everybody here was very career driven. You know, the hustle, the grind, doing whatever it took to get to the next level in their career. And that was a bit different than when I was coming from the South. So if we can relocate from the South or the Midwest, and you're kind of used to that slower lifestyle, not so fast paced, Northern Virginia may not be for you. Another thing too, a lot of people here, they're very, they can be kind of materialistic. All they do is talk about, hey, what do you do for a living? What school do you go to? What kind of car do you drive? How big's your house? And going out to a lot of bars and you know cocktail parties over the years, that seems to be the number one topic of conversation is, hey, what do you do for a living? Kind of gets old, not really my thing. So that can kind of be an adjustment when you're moving here. Now, if you're coming from LA, San Francisco, New York, Chicago, well, guess where you're gonna fit right in. So again, this can be a pro for you or a con. So if the fast paced, career driven lifestyle is not for you, then Northern Virginia may not be the place for you to live. Can you guys do me a favor? I'm looking for more video ideas about moving to and living in Northern Virginia. So if you have any video requests, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure I add it to my list. Now the fourth reason why you may not wanna to move to Northern Virginia, and that's gonna be the heavy, heavy, heavy traffic. In fact, CBS News ranked the DC metropolitan area as having the seventh worst traffic in the whole nation. That is quite a lot. In fact, they even said the average you know, resident here in the area spends 102 hours stuck in traffic every year. That sounds horrible. In fact, my fiance, soon to be wife, we get married this year in April, 2021, so we live in Ashburn and she works in Arlington. So she had an hour drive there and an hour drive back. Two hours a day stuck in a car, times five, 10 hours a week in a car. I don't know about you, that is not life fulfillment to me, being stuck in a car for 10 hours a week. So it is not fun. And you know, depending on where you live and where you work, it could be a lot less or a lot more. Now, there are ways around traffic it's actually been cut a lot since COVID hit because now a lot of people work from home. So that's helped reduce the traffic a lot. But I've noticed in the past month or two, it's starting to come back. Still not pre-COVID levels, but it's definitely getting a lot higher compared to when we first went on the COVID lockdowns in March of last year. So the best way to avoid traffic is you know, to live close to your job. That's literally the best way or work from home. That's even better. But if traffic is not your thing, then living in Northern Virginia may not be the place for you as well. Now the fifth reason why you may not want to move to Northern Virginia is toll roads and more toll roads and more toll roads. So there's a total of five different toll roads here in Northern Virginia. And if you have to ride them daily to, to get to and from work, it can absolutely add up. For example, if you live in Leesburg and you work in like, let's say Arlington or Washington DC, it could be $8 each way. Got to get back obviously to $16 a day. So if you have to do that, you know, times five, times all the year, you're looking at over $2,000 a year you would spend in tolls. I don't know about you, I really keep that money in my account, use that money to invest in something else. So toll roads, not my favorite. Now there are ways around toll roads, you don't have to take them, but it could add another 15, 20, 25 minutes in your commute time to get to and from work. So if paying tolls is not your thing, then maybe living here in Northern Virginia may not be. But like I said, they're completely avoidable. It just really depends on how you get to and from work. Now the sixth reason why you may not want to move to Northern Virginia, and this is actually my least favorite part about living here, and that is we have a car tax. In fact, we have the highest car tax in the nation. I know, cannot believe it. In fact, uh, there's actually only 27 states that have a car tax and we happen to have the highest one. So the way it works is you pay $4.20 for every $100 of uh, assessed value for a vehicle. So you get a nice little bill in the mail around every October, 
I you know me, uh, this past October, I had to pay $1,000 for my car. I hate spending that money. I'd much rather use that money for Christmas gifts or vacation or anything else other than paying a tax. So if you have, let's say, a $50,000 car in the area, which is very normal standard around here, you can expect your first year for your tax bill to be $2,100. Now it keeps going down every year because it goes based on the value of your car. Obviously your car's gonna go down in value, but it'll never get down to zero. So like I said, this is my personal least favorite part about living in Northern Virginia is having the highest car tax in the nation. In fact, I may move away from Northern Virginia just for that reason. No, I'm kidding, I would never leave for that reason. So like I said, I don't think any of these reasons not to move here should be deal breakers. If you're planning to move here, absolutely still make the move because the pros, they 1,000 times outweigh the cons. We got great schools, beautiful scenery, safe, great career opportunities. You're absolutely gonna love it. In fact, you will wanna learn more about living in Northern Virginia. Check out these videos right here. You're absolutely gonna love them. They'd be great resources. And if you got any value out of today's video, you know, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. That really helps me out. And I'll see you on the next video.